next the the 50 day 20 day un little travel and me speaking and my father and my mother can no go at my house he going the traveling in next the one year six months in the South America uh, and me uh, stop in Brazil in the World Cup Brazil uh, 2014 he finish World Cup next I mean no go at my house sino go a Mexico Mexico and buy Mex Bye. yes uh, yes, four years ago. In the Mexico and back at Panama, Panama flight to Spain, in Spain in here and back two years in the Union Europea. Now five years, 80,000 kilometers, uh, 37 countries. Hi everyone, we are near Red Square in Moscow. We are at uh, an official fan zone in Nikolskaya Street. There are a lot of, lot of fans from all over the world. We have met people from United States, from Mexico, from Argentina, from Peru, from England. And of course we have asked different questions to them. We ask them how they got here. We ask them what do they like to do here, what they like to eat here, and how do they find Russia, Moscow, other cities and the whole championship. It's a huge event and people are bright, people are joyful, and of course the conversations were quite brilliant. Okay, let's watch it. I hope you will see lots of interesting things because we at least met a person who came here by bike from Argentina. So have a nice time, watch our report and enjoy the championship 2018 in Moscow. Do you speak English? Uh, a no. little bit? Arabic? Arabic. Arabic? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, miraba. <laughs> miraba. <laughs> That's only I know. Uh, mi miraba. Miraba. Miraba is high. Yeah, it's high. me high. Uh, I want thanks for uh, this is country, Russia. I told him thank you for everything. Russia is beautiful. Yellow blue Russia. Ochin le blue. Patamushta eta ochin haroshi. Spicy ba. Spicy ba Russia. Yeah, so where, where, where do you come from? Where do you come from? We come from Serbia. Oh, so you're like uh, Zimliki. <laughs> Zimliki, Zimliki. <laughs> where do you come from? I'm from Brazil. Oh, really? Yeah, Teresina Piauí. Denmark, Denmark, Copenhagen. We are from America. From which state? From Nashville, Tennessee. I am Brazilian. So let's meet our fans from England. We are from Brazil. Uh, I'm from Argentina. Uh, my city is San Juan in Argentina. Guatemala. I'm Colombian, but I live in New Jersey uh, for the last five years. And you come from Colombia? Yes, yeah, sir. Okay. <laughs> uh, from Peru. Peru. From Peru? From Peru. Mexico. I am come from Saudi Arabia. It's my country is Saudi Arabia. Spicy by Russia. Okay, can you show us your real face? Uh. <laughs> What's your name? My name is Vitor Macau. Thomas. And Johannes. Andrew. Andrew. Adam. My name is Matias Amaya. Pedro. Carlos. I'm Diego. Like Maradona. Patty. Patty. Yeah. Fiorella. So, He's an actor in Brazil. Oh, really? Yeah. Is this my translation? You're an actor, really? Yes. What, what, so, what do you? What do you? What? Okay, I'm a singer. What is your name? Hector. Hector. Yes, sir. Nice to meet you, Hector. My name is Nick. Nick. So, oh, I'm fine. How are you? Pretty good. It's How are you? This is first time in Moscow. Yes, it's first time. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, it is our first time. Yeah, first time. Hopefully not the last. We love it. Uh, mine, but he has been a few times. Three times. Three times. What did you do here? Business. Little bit business with wood. I am to my business in Saudi Arabia. After finish from my business, after come to okay. uh, Russia. Was it difficult to come here? How many hours was the flight? Three, three hours. Three hours. Three hours from Brazil? I know. From no, Brazil, no. Uh, 16 hours. For 16. Was it difficult? No, no more. Yeah, I mean, you know, we, we live in South America. It's very hard, very difficult. We have to take uh, two cities uh, before we came to Russia, Amsterdam, and we've been in Zurich, 
Um, to transit stops. Yeah, to transit. So how many hours? Yeah, ooh, about two days flying. Two days flying. Yeah, but we did it because we love soccer. Yeah, we live in now in Lisbon. Uh, your our flight is seven hours. Seven hours. So it was easy. Yeah, it's easy. Oh, uh, what? Uh, Twenty hours? Yes. Yeah. So was it difficult to come here? It was really difficult. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, it is. What was the most difficult part? Actually, I live in Japan. So from Japan, I went to Korea. In Korea, I stayed like 12 hours, and then I came here. It was a long time. Oh, yeah, it's very difficult. I live in Lima. Uh, the Lima to go to the Canada, and then Madrid, and then Istanbul uh, from here. When did you come? Three days ago. We uh, arrived in Moscow uh, yesterday. Now we we are go to Red Square, but photos so every time. Our flight leaves to, tomorrow. I mean today at night. We already check out and we are ready to go. Like in about an hour, we are leaving to the airport. To Peru. Yes. Well, no, to Japan. I'll go to Japan. Uh, I go to La Madrid. Why did you come here? <laughs> I actually won tickets to come here through a sweepstakes in America, and we're super excited. We got here last night. So you you like uh, soccer in United? Yeah, we like soccer. Yeah. Yeah, we're sad that the United States isn't in it, but it's still like the biggest event in the world. But so. They, but did they participate? They didn't qualify. <laughs> we're sad. Yeah, we're sad, but it's still okay. This is an amazing experience. Yeah, but I've heard that uh, they have all these uh, uh, soccer schools around the United States. In each uh, schoolyard, people are playing soccer. It becomes more yeah. and more popular. So yeah. they are expecting you to become champions in like in 20 or 30 years. What do you think about it? We love that. Yeah, I think we hope so. Maybe for 2026, when the World Cup's there, we'll be ready. Maybe we'll be in it when we actually have it in the United States. We'll see. But we are preparing, I feel like, more now. What did you expect uh, before coming here? I don't know. I guess I expected it to not be this big, like Moscow. I didn't realize how many people lived here. We did it so before, big. and we had no idea. It was 12 million. Correct me if I'm wrong. Officially. Million. Officially. Yeah. That live here. We had no idea it was going to yeah. be this big. The party in Russians. The party in a Russian party, like Robbie Williams yes. sing. Good. So good. <laughs> a lot more hostility. And it doesn't, it's not here. Hostility doesn't exist in Russia. We we'll expect uh, parties, uh, good people, good atmosphere, good positive energy from the, all the people in the, from different kind of nation. And uh, I think it's very, very nice and very good. And, this. Uh, <laughs> yeah, a lot of party, a lot of party. We thought that it was gonna be really cold. We expect a lot of vodka, a little bit vodka, and Brazil gonna make the World Cup. <laughs> I expected a lot of culture, and, I, and probably more police, more police, but we haven't seen that. We have been really surprised, really surprised how open this is, look, this square. So my first uh, man's smile is photos and that happened. It's a, it's a party, World World Party, so I, I, I don't uh, expect uh, so many things, but now this is amazing. I, I, the, this, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> but did you know something about Russia? Uh, before, no. I've been reading a little bit about Russia. I know it was uh, 20 years ago was completely different, but uh, with all respect, I, I love the way that it looks like right now because of the uh, socialism, and communism. I respect that, but uh, this way of living, I think people is enjoying more. They have more opportunities. They have more access to money, which is good for education, to make a better living. So I think uh, Russia are heading the right path. And you know what's the best part about it? That uh, they kept the good things about 20 years ago, about religion, about um, respect. So many things that are good that they are applying the right way in order to go up and keep growing. Uh, something about Stalin, something about Lenin. <laughs> did you saw him? Or did you see Lenin? It was did you see Lenin? No, no, not yet. Because he is not yeah. from here. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna make the third, third, uh, three days 
uh, since today, so we are going to take three days. So it's one of my dreams is visit the Lenny and drink some coke. So the capitalism win. <laughs> and also, uh, I expect to see a Volga cars and all cars. Um, really, bro, I find that uh, that that I hear in front of me, I see an Audi store, I see BMWs, uh, I see McDonald's, Kentucky Fried Chicken. I think this is an open country right now. It's beautiful. And it's, it's, it's a good job, choice to the FIFA to, to make the world champion here. Yeah. You, you, got it, you got it true. I really like that you have found uh, so many differences. Yeah. Uh, but have you seen Lenin? No, I yeah, have seen Lenin in it was a big line. It was like 30 minutes to get in, so we decided to go around and then we, complete, we forgot about it. We're, we end up here, but uh, we're going to stay here for a few more days. So if you have the opportunity, we would like to go there. But it's, it was a 30 minutes lane in the middle of the sun, so we, we have a different choice. So, and I think it's good because you have uh, it's history like all the country in the world. Yeah, but I heard from uh, other English fans that uh, newspapers uh, wrote that it's quite dangerous here. Yeah, yeah, but that's that's not the case. Yeah, and uh, we have only 2,000 uh, fans from England yes. this year. I know, yeah. That's a shame. That's and a usually it's like uh, 40, yeah. 40,000. Yeah, because we would have, we'd have all the songs. We would be dancing in this square. And, but it's good. We've met loads of other people, loads of nice fans, Tunisian fans. They were, they were brilliant for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. there's the whole thing about political uh, things, but it's, it's, you know, people should come here, they should experience the country in Russia, and it's beautiful. And there's, there's of course, difference between what the Western media is writing about Russia and what the Russian media are writing about Russia. So, yeah, sure. so, so, so people, uh, yeah. See the yeah. Do you like it? Yes, it's very nice. Very nice, very nice. I absolutely love Russia. They've, everyone's been nice. Everyone has been really nice. We're trying to learn a little bit of Russian, but it's it's difficult for us. Oh, so, so everybody's speaking Russian, but they what are they trying? Some people, some people have been speaking English, but we would like to learn a little bit of Russian to help too. Yes, dobre, 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 dobre. Dobre. This is how you say it in Denmark. No, uh, okay. this is how we say here okay. together uh, with you. <laughs> and then we say Joe Olin. Yeah, Joe Olin. Joe Olin. It's a very beautiful city. Very beautiful. Very beautiful. Russian, uh, ever beautiful. Second, como que fala país? Second, second, second time in Moscow? Second, no, no. Second country. Second. Brazil first, second Russia. So Brazil first. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I, I wish I would I can come to Brazil. I watch my team. Team is football. Yesterday, my they, team is winner. Yeah. With Egyptian. This is they Egyptian. Won. Yes, I am win. So I am win. I am glad? too. Huh? Are you glad? I am happy. You're happy. Too much happy, yes. Too much, too much happy. And yellow blue Russia. It's impressive. It's amazing. It's uh, but I love this. Uh, the country is beautiful. All the people. It's very kind. Yeah, I love Russia. Oh, beautiful, beautiful people. Happy, big heart. Uh, help and me can eat uh, water, sleep. Yes, we like. The food and everything, and the people, the weather, everything's good here. And I, I really uh, find uh, Russia is amazing country. Moscow is beautiful. Uh, people here is beautiful. Um, Kazan is beautiful. And ladies are beautiful. <laughs> uh, you are saying everything you like. But did, did you know that the Russian government advised uh, not to have contacts uh, with foreign people for girls? Mm, uh, que história aconteceu interessante aqui, brother? Eu não me lembro. I don't. I can't say because my wife can. Okay, 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 okay. She will not see. Uh, I don't know that. No. What do you think about? It? It's nice. <laughs> nice not to have uh, contacts. No. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we heard about it. Uh, and and uh, you didn't listen to it. And, uh, and I'm single. And and possibly they listen the girls. We didn't listen to the government. <laughs>
yeah. So what do you like the most in Russia and in Moscow? The girls, of course. Oh, really? <laughs> you got really beautiful girls over here. A beautiful girlfriends, so not the girls for me, but uh, you know, it's uh, on a good day maybe a girl uh, looking, looking, purely looking, just high and yeah. But no, it's a beautiful country. You're very nice people, actually, and uh, I think uh, your your country reserves a better reputation yeah. in definitely. in the West. Definitely. In the West, definitely. definitely. Yeah. Yeah. You're very, very welcoming. Uh, uh, the vodka. Vodka, really? Did you try? Did yes, you try vodka? Try. Vodka and caviar. The, and in Brazil, it's so expensive. In here, it's so. So, do, do you like vodka? It's, it's good price here. <laughs> in the people, and and in here and in Moscow, uh, uh, drink uh, vodka. I mean, no, no alcohol. You can do. Do you like vodka? No, no, too much. Uh, too much. Uh, yes, I mean water. Day to day, water in here. Vodka, no, uh, too much in me. The people, it's very charm people, lovely people. Yeah, very. Uh, country is very beautiful, and all the people is very nice and beautiful, and this like smile. I think this is country, country for smile, in the world. We live the World Cup in Brazil, so we know that this uh, climb of party and everything is very good. It's very good. So every country should. Uh, enjoy this, so you know. So Russian is living this right now. So we are feeling the, this party that you felt four years ago. For sure, for sure. Brazil lost seven-one. We cry a lot, but now we are. Uh, it's most exciting games, the most goals. So that that's what it's all about. Exciting matches, and it's been good. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This is an official fan zone, like. And England scored six goals in one game. So that's yeah, amazing. A huge result for you. The young people. They, they want to be this country be, be better every day and the young people uh, are the young people yeah they are, they are, they, are, they care about it because they are do a good job and you have to okay what I, what I enjoy the most is that uh, uh, the different uh, I have a different perception now that I'm here because I was thinking uh, there was what this was going to be something like uh, 20 or 30 years ago uh, no communism, no socialism, but the way people live. So I look. This look like a free country right now. It's more like a USA because I've been living there for almost six years now. So I believe uh, that's what I find the most interesting. Russia is heading the right way, my point of view. Because you, you, you have the most beautiful girls in the world. Is why the people like to. Be. <laughs> What do you eat here? Uh, all. <laughs> Can you see this? All. What is your favorite food? Stroganoff. Um, Stroganoff is good. Stroganoff is good. It's Stroganoff. Stroganoff, really? Yes, yes. It's Stroganoff is a traditional food in Brazil too. Yeah, Stroganoff, yeah. We just, we just imported that food, so that's very good. Do you like Russian food? Uh, yes. yes. Loved it. Food, food, yeah, yeah, it's very good, very good. Like, uh, Yeah. Yes, good, good, very good. Yes, I like. I like this. Mm -mm. I don't like too much. Little. What did you tell me about the food? I heard the food was really good, but it's a lot of um, meat, potatoes, and cabbage. That's and you don't like it? <laughs> no, no, we love it. We've had, we've only been here for 24 hours, not even, but it's really good. So you, you, of course, there, there's things that are said in the United States, but I don't think it would scare. So you arrived yesterday. Last night, yeah. Uh, what have you already tried uh, from Russian food? <sighs> Where do we just go? Like uh, the dish. What oh, the it? dish. It was it was just salmon and vegetables. It was. Who knows? Who knows if it was? Yes. Yeah. So good. With lamb. They were good. 
lamb, yes. We call it pelmeni. Yes, yeah, 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 I think that's what it was. I love piroshkis. Piroshkis? Piroshkis, yes. Uh, I think I like the ones with meat, maybe. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm looking for a good one here. They're so good. We have them, like, people eat them in the United States, too. Piroki, uh, borscht. 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 Definitely borscht. Russian cuisine, Russian food is different from Serbian. Oh, I think it's a similar. It's a similar, yes. So you like Russian food? Nice, nice. Uh, Ukus, ukus. What is your favorite Russian dish? Blüda, Russian food. Russian food. Pelmeni. Pelmeni, like uh, brutal uh, masculine food. Very nice, very strong. Oh, well, the chicken Kiev, because we know it back home. Chicken Kiev. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But do you have some other Russian food in London? Uh, we've got Russian food, the, the dumplings. The dumplings, they're, they're, they're barely many. Yeah, yeah. I like gherkins now. I never like gherkins. I like gherkins. Gherkins? Pickle. I didn't like pickles. I like pickles now. Uh, Russian soup. soup. Russian soup is... Borscht. Yeah, yes, borscht. Borscht, I, I don't know... No. Uh, sar I don't know the... Sardini? I don't know names, but it's a... Uh, uh, remember... Fish? I don't know uh, what's name is more difficult the pronunciation okay, okay. is uh, very difficult but I, I, I but what was it? of course Stop. yeah but what was uh, the dish what was it fish or was it soup beef fish and potatoes we don't know the names but uh, the desserts are amazing desserts Russian desserts like blini yeah. have you tried uh, Russian food no no? no, no, nothing, nothing. You should try. You should. Yeah, uh, I, don't know where. I think. I think you are. I, I'm impressed because you have a lot of cultural food in Russia. You are Arab. You are hamburger. You are Kentucky. You are beans. I, I'm really impressed. You 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 you're doing well. Uh, I don't know the real food of Russia because I see uh, a food of every world here right now. I what think that's. Really it. Try. Yeah, what should you try? You should try... Do you like soup? Yeah. Yes. Uh, you should try your okroshka. This is a summer soup uh, based on kvass. Okay. Actually, it's kind of salad uh, in kvass. But you should try. Maybe you like it because yeah. it's cold and very good for summer. Have you tried okroshka? Uh, yes. And how is okroshka? Very, very nice. <laughs> very. very it's, I think it's a like, polite uh, English way to say you don't like akroshka. No, 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 no. It's, it's, it's different food, but I, I really enjoyed it. Squash? Squash? Yes, yes. Well, you, you know what, yes, actually, what okay. is squash, Thomas? Tell me. Yes. 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 Yeah, okay. good. Quas, yes. Do you like quas? Yes, good. Very good. Yes. Uh, not tried that one. Not tried, yeah? Okoroshka? No. Do you know what is quas? I don't know what is. Turski prenik. No. <laughs> Okroshka, you, you should try it because it's uh, a summer soup, a cold one, like salad in, in kvass. Kvass, it's like something lighter than beer, but you have tried it. It's very yeah, good yeah, for yeah, the yeah. hot weather. Maybe you will find it in the street. Okroshka. It's uh, the summer soup, cold one. Oh, no, no. We, we no, dice que si probamos la sopa fría. No le digamos. Did you write borscht? Borscht. We don't know the names. But... Russian soup, red one. Oh, the red one. Yes, it's really good. Did it, did it really? Yeah. Vinaigrette? Vinaigrette. Sal salad, red salad? Yes, we tried the red salad. It's really good. So you like the food? Like, yeah, yeah. I don't know the name. I can't speak here. Kvass. It's like something white, but it's good. Yeah, that's uh, another thing. Uh, yeah. Pelmeni? Ah, it's uh, something. Meat. Yeah, yeah. yeah, pelmeni. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so, yeah. Okay. It, I don't have time. I'm, I'm traveling with train and airplane. So I'm a little tired, but the next one, the, the next. No time. No, in that in that uh, area, I think uh, there is not too much information about it because uh, when you get here, you know you don't. People doesn't wanna. They don't. It's not that they don't wanna tell you, but they're they're specific. If you ask for transportation, they'll let you know, but they won't like. Oh, you you have to try this. You have to go there. It's important to people to know what is the right place to be. Because if you don't know that, you're going to eat and you're going to have a bad experience. But they don't really interested in giving you the right idea of getting the right food. If you, if you reach a show uh, like a souvenir free or food free for somebody in the corner, 
will be a matter because the tourists say, oh, this tastes good, this tastes nice. Oh, oh yeah. And then we're interested in and taste this food. But I did, we didn't see it because we you didn't. But, but the job of the young people to help uh, uh, tourists to get the right direction in bus and cities, and that was a nice job. I, 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 don't, have, I don't have to be, uh, speak uh, a, a bad way of Russia because I, I really... So, uh, was it expensive for you to come to Russia? Of course, it's not che not a cheap trip, but it's well worth it because it's such a lovely country. I agree. <laughs> I expect uh, very expensive, but not. It is very cheap and good. No, no, no expensive. You know, it's good. It's good. It's uh, it's it's honest. Is it true that you uh, some people from Peru sold their apartments, their houses, their cars to come to the championship? Yeah, yes. Did you did you sell your apartment? What? You did you did you sell? Ah, uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> was it was it expensive for you to come to the championship? Yeah, it's very expensive. Um, uh, this, um, I don't know. Uh, two, no, five, five thousand dollars. Yes, five thousand. For tickets for. Tickets for flights for hotel. Yes. How many games uh, have you visited? Uh, too much. In Moscow? Uh -huh. uh, France to Peru and uh, Sweden to Deutschland. I, 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 I even don't see the hotel because I think that was of the heaven price. I, I didn't see it because that. You, you rent a flat? No, I rented hostels. Uh, hostels are more economic for us. I think it's, it's night hostels and I rented Airbnb, I like a uh, booking or something like that. Uh, but if you want to see a promotion hotel like Radisson, you know, in the United States, every corner have an hotels. Every station gas have an hotels. And you, you can make it, try to, to make the, uh, people from another country try to cost, construction hotels in the every corner uh, would be uh, a nice place. How is everything organized here? What do you think? It's beautiful. It's really beautiful. I think, it. I think it's a good job so far. I mean, we just got in last night, but we're staying in the Budweiser Hotel okay. they in the Intercontinental, and they did an amazing job. So, I mean, overall, like, first look, it looks great. Everything. In the airport, getting your fan ID. The airport was perfect. Everyone was so nice. The fan ID process has been quick. So, it's been good. And it was 2 in the morning, so they didn't have to be nice. We got in really late. Everything is very well organized. You have a lot of people working in the fan places and so on. Now we will go and see Lushniki and the stadium, how it works. Look so much forward to it. And it took me two minutes to get my fan ID over here and everything yeah. was perfect. So, it's yeah. when, when, you, uh, when you look Asian and you're from Denmark, then Russian people get a little bit confused. You know, yeah. they say, who is this guy? Who is he? But he's a champion. He's a champion. And then, then they say, okay. okay. Did you come from Beijing or whatever? <laughs> okay. Yes, it, it's very good. It's very. You get your fan ID quick. Yes, yes, yes. It's good. But in my case, I know. I, I didn't. I didn't because uh, I have some problem. But when I come here, everything is, was uh, very, very organized. Uh, was it difficult to get the visa? We did the fan ID. So easy. We went to Saint Petersburg and we just arrived and everything is good. Yeah, we like how everything is organized. The buses, the, the here's the metro and everything. And there is a lot of spots where you can find information. So that's good. That's really good. Uh, um, really, it's, the city is very safe. And it's, it's clean and the people is very cool. And it's just, how is it? Very amable and very kind. kind. Uh -huh. Yeah, Russia is so organized. Uh, the language is the most difficult point, but m many people say English no so good like me, but is the minimal to reserve. Friends, the the um, all the team, all the support is very very good job from. I think uh, the Russian people have worked very hard during the World Cup to make. 24 hours on the, on, the, on the metro, 24 hours on the train. Everybody works very hard, so... It's so everything is uh, organized good? Very, very good. 
I've been to eight World Cups with FIFA and this is the best organized. But I think you are very prepared to make the World Cup the world. What well, really do you like how everything is organized here? Yeah. Yes, I, I really like that. Uh, I was I was um, paying attention to that particular question you asked. The main key is they hire young people. That's important. Young, young, young ladies. They're average between 18 years and 22 years. That makes a difference because all Russians, 45 and up, they don't, they don't really care about the World Cup. Uh, soccer is not a big thing for them, but they were trained the right way. They give in the right, um, the right point of view and they're always willing to help. Every single time that I approach the FIFA store or the FIFA stand, they're willing to help you, they give you the right instructions, so I find that important. And uh, you people, it's more easy for, for them to speak English, to learn English, and that's the point, the right point. Young people here in this country are growing up to get a better future for... for May I ask you, where did you meet uh, junk girls? Uh, when, uh, when I first got here in Moscow, on my way to Kazan, I made a uh, two contact with them. We were having problems with the train, so the lady was the young lady was very helpful. And then we went to Kazan, same story. We went to the Kremlin in Kazan, and they give us right instructions, fresh, always willing to help, smiling. So it, is, is, it makes it easier for the tourists. The in, in, volunteers. Yeah, the volunteers in the FIFA point, the FIFA point information is where the young ladies been and young people and show the, or, or, or helping the people to get the, the right direction. It's nice over there. Uh, uncomfortable now, but the, a few things maybe have to be better, but, but you... Really which which one? Uh, which things could be better? Like uh, the, the, the hotels, uh, you, you have a very nice country to make the tourists become more strong. It explodes this, 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 this economy. Because you, if you see a very nice hotels, you can be uh, 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 comfortable to, to stay here. I believe that they, Russia, they need to take this opportunity. They got to see as a whole, not only, folk, not only football oriented, not only soccer oriented. It's an opportunity to build an industry that you guys don't have. There is no tourist industry because uh, I've been in countries where everything is focused and oriented to to have a, a, the right attention to make you feel good. If uh, if that's more, if people knows more about it and they're or they're tourism oriented, you guys guys going to be so simple because you guys have so many uh, beautiful places to visit. But if, if you, you don't, if you don't get the right attention, if you don't get the right advice, you're losing the opportunity to make it grow. So there is no tourist industry, I think, which is important and it's going to make a big impact in your economy. But you are clean, you are, have the, the people, you have the money and you have the, the feeling of, 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 of you are a nice country. It's easy to, to, to be, be prepared to make the tourists, I mean the culture of tourists be more strong to make money. It's easy for you. I think so. But what, I mean, what I want to say is I hope um, Moscow is going to be open to us in future to come and it's easier to get to come here as a tourist. So the visa situation needs to come down. And yeah, yeah, I know because I have a father from Germany, yeah. and he has to go through this uh, bureaucracy every time he needs a oh, visa. No. Yeah, we need we need to simpler rules. Simpler rules. We are all nice people. We want to come to your country because we loved your country. Is it uh, difficult for you to read the signs? Impossible. Impo it is. <laughs> No, we don't know. We don't know what it says. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes. But go Google Traductor, everything okay. Oh, so Google Maps is helping. Yeah, yeah. The Kyrillic, yeah, yeah, a little bit, yeah. yeah. I think it's a little bit difficult, yeah. But uh, more and more Russians speak, uh, you know, a little bit of English and... A little bit, yeah, I think so. Um, so yesterday I met a girl. And she used the phone and then we were talking through the phone, but then her friend spoke English, so it's good. It was kind of difficult because there are some signs that are just in Russian, but there are some others that also are in English, so that's good. 
Um, we ask people. Yeah, and people are answer you? Very friendly. Oh, really? Everybody in Russia has helped us get around the country and it's been, it's been amazing. But what about the English? They speak very good English in Russia. Oh, really? Yes, of course. Yeah, yeah. It's always going to be a challenge for people in other countries because uh, the letters are quite different from the, what they used to be. But if you've been traveling a while, that won't be a problem. You just have to try to understand the, the matter and you will get there. Are you going to visit other cities? Yes, no, only Moscow. Only Moscow. Oh, no, we only... Only Moscow, only Moscow. For this game, Brazil? Brazil and Serbia, only for this game, yes. We wish, we can only be in Moscow for five days, so then we have to go back to work. Because of visa or what? Uh, just the trip she won. Mm-hmm. Yeah, days, so. we got to go back to work. So, uh, I know that you visited Volgograd. Yes. yes. And you visited uh, different th cities, uh, which? Nish Nishi, Nogrov. And then uh, the day after tomorrow, Kaliningrad. Yeah. What did you like in Volgograd? How did you like the province? We didn't like the, the flies. The flies. The history <laughs> was amazing. Yeah. Yeah. The history. The history there was amazing. The history is amazing. yeah. And what about the river? The Volga Volga river. Beautiful. Snip 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 snip. Very so what was it disturbing? Volgograd is probably the best, pl the most friendliest place we've Within. been. Really. Yes. Oh, that's nice to hear. Did you did you visit uh, other cities? Yeah, Volgograd. Did you like it? She. Ah, oh, Volgograd. Love Volgograd. Love Nishi. Nishi is a bit off the wall. Off oh, really? You like the Nizhny most? Uh, off the wall. <laughs> what did you like the most? Don't don't stay up late in Nishi because you end up like. That. <laughs> so you liked the vodka most oh, or the beer? Vodka, vodka was flowing, flowing in, in Nishi. Okay. Really nice. Yeah, St. Petersburg and Hostov. Uh, which uh, did you like the most? Um, St. Petersburg is so great. Hostov is it's a little seat, but it's good. But uh, did some uh, nice uh, stories, uh, interesting stories happen to you during this adventure? He saw the, the, the pig pussy. Big pussy? <laughs> Big pussy? Hairy one? Pink? No, no, no. Pink? <laughs> sorry, I don't like this story. I love pussy, but I don't like this story. <laughs> yeah. Uh, in, in Russia, Kaliningrad. Yeah. 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 No. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah but I've been before in this in Novgorod and uh, in Saint Petersburg and different places it's like that. Nizhny, yeah. Nizhny, Nizhny, Nizhny. Saint Petersburg was, was cold. For Brazil, it was very cold. How, 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 how? The drink is wet, so is everything okay? So Saint Petersburg was cold, but yeah. uh, what else did you remember? Well, uh, Do you remember from Saint Petersburg? Ah, we went to the game. It was a very good game. And then we are like eight birds. Four are lost. <laughs> okay. Oh, really? you, yeah. you, you yes. have <laughs> Brazil. You have you have lost four four Brazilians four friends. Brazilian yeah. Where did you in lose them? In Saint Petersburg. Now we just arrived and we are make some money to drink beer. And how much money did you make? Just. 300. No. So like two, two beers. Yeah, two beers. <laughs> uh, where are you going next? Uh, the next stop is going to be Sochi and then Polonia and then go back to Brazil. Nice, nice plan, nice plan. Uh, yes, Ekaterinburg and Sochi. Actually, Ekaterinburg is really cold. Oh, yeah, really? yes. We were like freezing out there, but here is really warm. Okay, yo, yo. Yes, um, the game. Uh, Yes, that date, uh, it was raining and we were sitting in the rain like during the game, but that was it. I, um, I like Sochi and I also like Moscow. Do you like Sochi because of the sea? Because of the sea, yes, it was warm. The city is very beautiful, beautiful. I'm, stay, I'm, stay, I'm staying five days in St. Petersburg, more five days in Moscow. Did you like St. Petersburg? Yeah, so much. What did you like the most? Most I uh, think the Pet Petagov is so beautiful. The people of St. Petersburg to me is so cute. Next, I'm going to Lisbon again. Or, or in, in Earth. Yeah, I mean uh, in championship. Are you going to visit other cities? No, 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 just Moscow and come back to Lisbon. So you are going to visit uh, today's uh, game? Yeah, yeah I, I came from Rostov. And to my, well, tonight I we went to Katimbur. Did you like Rostov? Yes, Rostov and Moscow. 
all the cities? I've uh, been about um, five days, six days ago. Uh, we went to Kazan to watch the Colombia games. Uh, what can Poland? Poland. Yes, uh, I've been with the same time. We've been here for a week. Uh, we watched the second game of the of the first round. We lost the first one. Then we beat Pol Pol Polska, three nothing, and we're going to Samara tomorrow to to watch the game uh, against Senegal. <laughs> which city? Which city did you like the most? Kazan. Kazan. Yeah. Moscow. Um, two cities, and both are beautiful. Both cities are different, yeah. and uh, both cities have um, several parts that are beautiful. But uh, so far, I've been asking people, and they agree on the same. Kazan and Moscow should be the, the best places to visit. Kazan's uh, Kremlin, beautiful, and Moscow because of the population, because of the a lot of um, cultures mixed up, makes it beautiful. And you guys did a good job in order to host the World Cup. The game, no ticket, no money ticket, yes. Uh, but I mean, happy yeah, here in here, Moscow, yeah, five years and by, I mean, I'm happy. The last question, which team you are rooting for? Who do you think will win this championship? Hmm, I'm going to root for France. So you will go to this uh, game? Wish, but we're actually going to the Brazil-Serbia game, but overall... I'm going to root for France, probably. I think Germany could win it, but we're, I'm rooting for Brazil. Oh, Brazil. What, what, what do you think, uh, how far the England team will go? Who knows? How long is the piece of string? <laughs> as long as it's, everyone's enjoying themselves, that's the main thing. This is the middle of championship. What do you think? Uh, who will win? We. Serbia. And what do you think about Brazil? And Russia in final. Yes. <laughs> Serbia and Russia. Fine. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I root for Serbia because your team is uh, very powerful yes. during this championship. Brazil. We are tomorrow must win Brazil. Uh, Brazil win Russian tears. <laughs> Third. Uh, not Russia. Yeah, it's okay. I, 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 I think Germany, 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 Germany is going to win. Germany is going to win. But, 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 but no, I think maybe um, Bel Belgium looks strong, and and I think that uh, Belgium is actually a pretty good. Uh, yeah, I think so. There's a few teams who can win still. And what place uh, will Denmark get? We will probably be qualified for the next stage, but then it's uh, looking hard so if we are meeting Argentina or No, Croatia. no, we will kick some Croatian balls. Oh. <laughs> yes, exactly. I wish you luck. Um, Croatia look really good. Croatia do look good against Argentina. Russia, they could, they could get a surprise in the Uruguay next round. Uruguay will be tough. Uruguay will be tough. England at least quarterfinals. That would be as usual. Yes, <laughs> but with England we're improving. So the next few years we're going to get better. Yeah, I was in Volgograd and I was rooting for England. Thank you. Yeah, and I think that uh, you have a new team, yes. and maybe you can uh, move forward this year already. Maybe to semi-finals at least. I think the atmosphere, the welcome that we had in Russia, has made it more relaxed, and that's why we've done better. I think so. The Brazilian team is better than four, uh, four years ago, so I think I think Brazil is going to win. So, so what is your forecast? Brazil first. Who is the second? You first, and then let's support for Russia, right? <laughs> for second. Yeah, but it, it's a great success for us to go out of the group. Yeah, for sure. But I think so. I think so. Brazil, maybe in the finals, but the second one. What do you think? The another bird. We yeah, let's think. <laughs> let's see. <think. laughs> Good. Uh, Egypt. Egypt, really? <laughs> come, come, come all together. Uh, what? Brazil, of course. <laughs> okay, who will be the second? Second, uh, maybe Russia. Maybe. No, no, I mean, man, we, it's success for us to go out of the group. <laughs> okay, but really, for real. Really, really, I think the Spain or German is like. Okay, and uh, we are rooting for Russia for semi-finals. It will be so great for us, but thanks you for, yeah, for your politeness. Messi, ciao. Messi, ciao. <laughs> oh, maybe Russia. 
maybe Russia. You're very, you're very polite. <laughs> no, Thanks. No, 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 it's a good team right now. Or maybe Brazil. Yeah, but we lost. But we lost to Uruguay, uh, like uh, zero three. Yeah, but two ha you have two good games and one. What, what? Yeah, we are getting out of the group, and Mexico looks quite strong. What do you think? What is your what, what do you think Mexico will get to semifinals, to finals? Uh, yeah, semifinals. Yeah, yeah. This a new generation. You had good players. Oh, who? Quién crees que va a ganar? France. <laughs> Sorry. You're you're rooting for France, yeah. not Peru. No, I. Uh, Aurelia, but I. No sé quién es. <laughs> I wish, I wish, I mean, uh, Peru is already eliminated, right? So we have to, I don't know, I support Japan because I live there. Uh, yeah, France. Uh, France is my uh, team. France is the champion. For me, I have eight teams in here very uh, qualified to win the world champion. I think it's, it's going to be the best world champion in the so by soccer in the world because we have a very strong selections in every country. Uh, from the bottom of my heart, I want this, but I uh, have to be realistic. It's difficult, but uh, it's free to dream. Uh, but uh, I will think it will be between uh, Spain, France, or Brazil. That's it. Do you think uh, Argentina will win the championship? Win? No, no, no. no? Who, who do you think will win? No, no connection. Which team? No connection. Argentina. And Which team will win? Portugal, Brazil. Uh, oh, Brazil. Yes, uh, good, good team. Uh, I don't know. No, no in CTV. No, no. I don't know. I'm gonna root for France. 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 Uh, France is the champion. Are you going to sing some songs in, in, the, in the stadium? We're going to try. I think we have to learn like the chants. We don't know them right now. But we're going to try. <laughs> we'll try. Okay. If the United States was in it, we know the songs, but I think we'll sing along. We'll try to. What kind of song you sing at the stadium? Um, oh, I, we, I think there's a song about vodka. Uh, that we're, England fans are drinking all the vodka. <laughs> That's can can you sing it for us? Uh, it's gonna be a tough one. We're not very good at singing. Free lines. Yeah. If you want a free yeah. lines. Yeah, yeah. Let's. Free lines on the shirt. Jewels remain still gleaming. No more years of hurt. Never stop me dreaming. But I still see that tackle by Moore And when Lineker scored Bobby Bont in the ball And Nobby dancing Three lines on a shirt Jules remain still gleaming No more years of hurt Never stop me gleaming uh, Do you know some uh, football songs? Uh, did you did you sing at stadium? At the stadium. Ah, las canciones del estadio. Ah, sí. Can you sing it for us? Siempre te voy a querer. Esa. Siempre te voy a cantar. Ah, ya chicas, cantamos. Yeah, one, two, three. Como no te voy a querer. Como no te voy a querer. Si eres mi Perú querido, bien feliz, feliz, feliz lo que debió nacer. Eh, bo, 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 bo. El tigre Falcao, el tigre Falcao, el tigre Falcao. That's the best thing. Uh, it is song, songs with every culture, with every, every things. I can say, eh, ma, no. Viva Leo Messi, viva Leo Messi. Fala uma música do estádio aí, música do estádio. Samba, funk. One, two, three. Que Maria, é mais que era no do Messi, tchau, 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 tchau. E o Messi, tchau. O boi, crente e o nazi sui. Oi, 
neka čuje boja reka Drina, slavnu hrabrost i unačkog oca si. Da. Ole, 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 Brazil, Brazil. Ole, ole, France. Ole, ole, France. Oh, ja, Saudi. Oh, ja, Saudi. Oh, Saudi Arabia. Ay, 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 ay. Canta y no llores. ¿Por qué? Cantando se alegran cielito lindo los corazones. Miugos, 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 miugos. So pele, so pele, Maradona era po. Miugos, 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 miugos. So pele, so pele, Maradona era po. Ja te voli, ja te voli, Srbija! Ja te voli, ja te voli, ja te voli, Srbija! Ja te voli, ja te voli, ja te voli, Srbija! Ti se kusaj, smajklej mua, smajklej mua, smajklej mua, ti se kusaj, smajklej mua, Smaglen mua, smaglen mua. Na nove é nosso, oitenta e oito também. Não somos as putas do lixo que nunca ganhou de ninguém. Oh, 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 e o Messi, tchau, Messi, tchau, Messi, tchau, tchau, tchau. O argentino está chorando, porque essa Copa eu vou ganhar. O Di Maria, o Mascherano, e o Messi, tchau, Messi, tchau, Messi, tchau, tchau, tchau. Os argentinos estão chorando, porque essa Copa eu vou ganhar. E gravou, e gravou, noite é Brasil já se gravou. Bravo, bravo. I wish you good luck today. Yeah, yeah, I will be rooting for Denmark. I wish you luck. I wish luck to your team. Yeah, thank you. Good job, good job. Thank you. Bye bye. Okay, thank you. You're adorable. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, have a nice championship. Bye. Bravo, bravo. I wish. I wish Serbia good luck. Bravo, bravo, bravo. We wish you good luck. Привет всем, русских, сербских, Сербия, Россия, наоборот, наоборот. We wish you good luck, we wish you good luck, Pedro, we wish good luck for France. Оле, оле, Франс. Thank you, bravo. Thank you guys, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, 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 we wish you good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Have a. Thank you. Have a good game. All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. We wish you good luck for England. Thank you. Bye. Yeah. Good luck to Russia. Yeah. Nice to meet you in the final. Yes. Okay. Very political. <laughs> bravo, bravo, guys. Thank you so much. I will give you. I will give you. That World Cup. I will give you some money for the beer. We are the champions, oh my friend. One beer. Good luck, good luck. Bravo, bravo, bravo! I wish you good luck. Good luck for Brazil. See the red square. وحب أهدي هذا الفوز لسعادة. الرئيس بوتين واقول له تستاهلون تستاهلون الخير شكرا لكم ثانك يو ثانك يو
Thank you, thank you, yes. Have a nice flight. It's very good. Welcome. Have a nice flight and uh, we wish good luck to your team. Thank you, thank you. Same to Russia. Yes. Thank you, man. Bravo, bravo. I wish good luck to France. I wish good luck to Japan. To Peru, of course, uh, next championship. <laughs> but still have a nice championship and have a nice time in Russia. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Uh, it's a present. It's a present, yes. Okay, I will, I will put it on. Yeah, okay, great. <laughs> <coughs> so you, you brought it from Peru. Really? You brought it from yes. Peru? <laughs> okay, let's. Oh, it looks oh, really good. Yeah, 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 let's 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 sing a Peruvian song like. Okay, come on, oh, uh, Peru, oh, <laughs> Peru, 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 Peru. Peru. <laughs> yeah. Ole, 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 Champion for the next championship. <laughs> okay, thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <coughs> so guys, travel and be happy. Uh, I will donate you some some money too. Старт собирается после этого.